Hello everyone, in this video let us learn uh, how to parse a date, how to work with uh, a string that has let us say a date and you want to parse it, you want to convert it to a proper date so you can work with it. Now uh, we learned how to calculate date difference, let us say you want to calculate the date, date difference between a hard coded date and a date which is being returned by system because sometimes you need to work on hard coded dates. Now for this example what I'll do, I'll probably use something like uh, uh, this date parse which is a method that you can use and you can actually pass in here something like 2022 0805 which is a hard coded date and you can actually create it it's of course a calculated measure but if you click if you click on the date parse it will give you this uh, number so basically we have to use the right format so you can select here uh, something like you know maybe date time mmmddyy which i don't really like i prefer using uh, yymmdd uh, yymm yymmdd so i'll probably use custom and uh, yyyy hyphen blah 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 and i'll just update this so we have this ability ability to use uh, this string that we can probably fetch from somewhere or maybe if you want to just hard code uh, because not everything is a date, right? Because it has to be in a date format if you want to do some proper things. Now, what what I wanted to do is I wanted to let us say calculate date difference, date uh, difference, work days, and I want to use two dates. The first date would be the measures dot issue created date, and the second date would be this date. So I can definitely. Uh, pass in the, here the date but it is always better to just you know convert it to proper date because if you look at the arguments of date uh, or like most of the date based functions it will expect date so it might work if you just pass in the string but if you just convert it to date format then it is always better right and because this date diff function will return a number so simply return or simply use the format which is integer update and that is it now we have this number which is telling us okay how many days since the issue creation date and this hard coded date uh, work days not really just no normal days and that is it I know it is hard coding and I don't really always do it but you have to do it because yeah that is how things are in the world and uh, I mean not complaining but we should have this ability because it, uh, of course in this example I, ha I hard coded but it might just come from a field which is not really a date field and you have to of course manipulate it or make sure the data type is correct right so that is it short video but useful video bye bye